a bump in the road for Syracuse. Hi everyone, I'm Dan Duva from the War Memorial. The Crunch suffered their first regulation loss of the season Saturday, 4-1, to one, at the hands of the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins, snapping a four-game win streak. However, it was probably Sunday's game that stings just a little bit more. Ahead 3-2 over the Adirondack Phantoms in the final minutes, Syracuse took a series of penalties, allowing the Phantoms to go on the power play. A 6-on-3 goal in the final minute, and then a 5-on-3 goal 14 seconds into overtime lifted Adirondack to the 4-3 overtime victory. Syracuse did manage two power play goals of its own, as Alex Kaloran got his first two goals of the season. However, a winless weekend means hard days of practice and a focus on what went wrong and how to make it better. I think we got a little too comfortable last week and we made a lot of mistakes that we normally don't make and uh, it's something that we really had to focus on, really something we had to uh, get over and, uh, you know, we had a, had a tough week so far just because, uh, you know, we can't let this be a habit. You gotta got to break those habits and uh, get better every day. Uh, too bad we uh, lost both games. It was, uh, it was really hard, uh, especially the second game. We were up 3-2 and we just uh, did some bad penalties and we just took them and it took us down to three and they scored on it. They have a really good power play, so we kind of paid, paid our stupid stuff. But uh, there's a new week coming on. We played on Friday and uh, we want to win. I think a big key, though, is we've got to stay out of the penalty box. Anytime you're going to give uh, a team like that with that much talent 10 power plays, uh, you, you know, we, we killed off the first eight and then uh, gave up two five on three goals. So I, our, our penalty kill has been uh, phenomenal for us, but the stats aren't really reflecting it because all the five on threes we've uh, put ourselves in. So if we keep stops, if we stop shooting ourselves in the foot with the penalties, we should be fine. <laughs> There's a lot of issues that need to be fixed. It's a good thing that's early in the season. You know, the penalty is obviously a big thing. Uh, power play can be much better. Our effort just all the way, full 60 minutes, something that our team used to do all the time and we just didn't do it last week. And something that uh, we're really going to have to address and we have addressed that and uh, just got to try and get better on that and uh, get better this weekend. Well, we were doing a lot of system stuff, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, battles, so guys get used to uh, uh, battles, not, uh, not really penalty. Coach was, uh, coach was really paying attention to the penalty calls and uh, every time when something happened, he whistled and uh, we uh, we were working on that, so I'm. Um, I think we're gonna bounce back pretty good. It's just nice to get back because um, uh, you know that game didn't go exactly the way we wanted it to. So uh, you know it's gonna be nice for a little redemption. Uh, well, I'd be really happy if we were playing them here, but uh, we have to go on the road and play them. But it's uh, it's only a one game weekend for us, so a little different. You don't usually get too many of these, so uh, I think that obviously there'll be a lot of focus on this game and. Uh, and uh, a lot of things we need to fix, but it's all part of the process. We've only played seven games, and you know, there's like 69 more to go, so uh, we've got a long way to go. So it's the Phantoms again on Friday, this time at Glens Falls, sort of a home-and-home -home series between the Crunch and the Flyers' AHL affiliate, just four days in between. And in fact, the Flyers have a number of guys at the AHL level, most notably Braden Shen, who factored on all four of the Phantoms' goals on Sunday in Syracuse. The Crunch tied for first in the East, the Phantoms in fourth place in the Northeast. We'll do it again Friday in Glens Falls, the Crunch and the Phantoms. With the Syracuse Crunch, I'm Dan Duva.